We've been in an atrium for three years. The beautiful items within the atrium invite the children into prayer, invite them into our Lord's Word, and invite them to contemplate who Jesus was, where did He live, who were His friends, and am I called to be a friend too? We're seeing kids encounter God. Um, it's one of my exciting parts about this program is that we actually believe God talks to us. And this program helps us be vulnerable to that. It's one thing to say we believe God talks to us, but this program actually says, okay, now pause, let's ask God. And we expect God to answer, and He does. And the kids encounter Him in different ways, which is the most exciting thing. That's what makes this program so alive. They're encountering both the truth of the gospel, but the experience of the gospel. They'll come away expecting and knowing that God is active in their lives. You can't ask for more than that. For me, as a teacher, that's been the most beautiful thing to watch. Like, I am not the teacher in the environment. God is. Um, and this is the only method I've seen that actually honor that. Letting the children be with the Lord and let Him do the work. And we just set it up for them. It's such a joy to get to see my own children experiencing it and um, loving it and really having this deep relationship with God that's so natural and rich. I can see it when we go to Mass. Um, they they're definitely seem more engaged and more interested of what's going on, especially because we try to sit at the front so they can see what's going on. Um, so I would say that's been really beautiful. And the songs that they learn, um, my daughter just wants me to sing them to her all the time. Um, they say beautiful things at home sometimes. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> you hear God better than me. We have set aside two of our rooms in our parish hall building just for this. One is an atrium for the first two levels, and we're going to atrium for eventually for level three as well. It's also a commitment of money. Um, we are hiring extra staff for this. And, but the biggest other commitment is our volunteers. This isn't something they get trained with at a long Saturday program. This takes, I think, 90 hours of training for just one level. It is a big investment, but it's worth it um, because it is what God is doing. And if you do what God is doing, He'll provide. And it's vulnerable right now. And I'm hoping we can be a resource not just for our parish, but for other parishes around who don't have the space, or for even homeschool groups who would love to participate in this but don't have the resources. So we're not just doing this for our parish, we're doing this for our area. The DSA has been extremely helpful because uh, we made this commitment to building an atrium prior to the grant being established. And when um, we were granted financial aid to build this atrium, it was a blessing that I was able to round up all the receipts and present it to the diocese saying, this is what we spent building this atrium, making it possible. And the diocese turned around and helped us. And that help has helped us prepare to build another atrium so that we can free up those finances. Because of our diocese, understanding the priority of Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, we have been empowered to provide something that would have been very difficult to do on our own. And so we have been very grateful for that help.